And the zoo is helping hikers in Kirkwood steer clear of dangerous snakes. Volunteering their time, zoo veterinarians have embedded tracking devices in copperheads found around the Powder Valley Nature Center. Five on your side's Tracy Hinson spent the morning on the trails in search of the venomous viper. If you're walking around Powder Valley and you see orange tags like this, they have nothing to do with the foliage they're tagged on. They actually have to do with the snakes that have been spotted in these areas. Part of Dr. Benjamin Jellen's job is to follow the beeps. And the closer you get, the louder that the beep gets. Closer to venomous vipers like this little guy. Pick him up. We found him uh, in August. Uh, late August and he got his transmitter in early September. Copperhead snakes are not what most hikers want to come across and that's why Dr. Jellen spends hours tracking them around Kirkwood. Powder Valley has 100,000 plus visitors a year and they're out around venomous snakes. By tracking them, Jellen hopes to help minimize negative people snake interactions and understand where these suburban snakes are most likely to be. Nobody knows what makes a good burrow a good burrow for a snake because there'll be a hole in the ground here and a hole in the ground next to it. And why do they pick one and not the other? We tracked three snakes down and only one of them was truly in nature. The others were very close to Highway 270 and the road surrounding Powder Valley. A lot of times they're relatively close to the trail. A lot of times they're far away from the trail, but they move quite a bit throughout the park. And sometimes, yeah, they'll be, um, you know, four or five feet away from the trail underneath the log. And I think a lot of times people pass by and have no idea that they're there. Remember that area of brush I was standing in for the beginning of this story? It's actually right here, as you can see, very close to the road and where people could come across them. That's the whole point of this study, is to get a better understanding of where these snakes are in relation to people. At Powder Valley in Kirkwood, I'm Tracy Hinson, five on your side. Even though Dr. Jellen says there could be hundreds of copperheads in the Powder Valley Conservation Area, sightings are actually very rare. I think that's good news. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't necessarily <laughs> want to see one of those. No, you don't. And it's not going to be the best walking weather in Powder Valley no. or anywhere in the next couple it's of days.